Hey everybody, I'm Lee Williamson and today I'm going to be covering a question a subscriber asked me recently. So it was a Chris Hudson that asked me, um, based on the previous tutorial I did, uh, I took a character that was uh, downloaded from Miximo and brought into Cinema 4D and showed how to manually edit uh, body parts of the character external to the motion capture um, pre-recorded uh, rig. And he wanted to know, how do I make the hands open and close? So it could be holding a baseball bat or a tennis racket. So I tinkered a bit, I figured it out, and here's what I learned. All right, so we're gonna open up Cinema 4D, and we're gonna press Merge Objects, and we're gonna bring in that zombie FBX that I uh, got from Miximo. I say, no my takes. And all I need to do now is bake down these keyframes on the timeline. So I'm going to click on the bones and I'm going to go to animate, add motion clip. And let's just call this uh, kick. And then I'm going to press shift F3 on the keyboard to up my timeline and go to motion mode, this icon over here. I'm going to click on the uh, kick layer and you're going to go into a hierarchy and we're going to untwirl and uh, let's just uh, choose one of the one of the hands. So let's choose the right hand. I'm going to untwirl until I get to the right hand. And I'm going to hold down Control on the keyboard and click the tick. So what that does is it actually, by holding Control, it actually unticks all of the boxes in the hierarchy. So all the fingers inside the hand, uh, which is going to be very important when we come down to um, recording the keyframes because what we're doing is we're disabling this so imagine these now move independently of the uh, kicking animation so I'm going to kick on, uh, click on the the bones and I'm going to go down to uh, let's just right click and just say unfold all and I'm going to find the right arm uh, right so right hand so we're going to click on the right hand all the way down to the end of the right hand. We're going to select the whole thing. So hold, hold shift from the top and then click on the bottom one while holding shift. And we're going to go to our coordinates and we're going to drop a keyframe on all the rotational values. So now we've recorded that hand open as it is over there. And then we're going to scrub on the timeline, 10 frames forward and Let's just drop another keyframe there anyway. So what I want to do is I want to bend the four fingers, but not the thumb. So I'm literally going to choose um, all of the hands and not include the thumb in that. And I'm going to rotate my RB value. Okay. like that. So imagine this character is holding a baseball bat and then we're going to record keyframes on there. And then I can just go to that um, pinky. Where is that? Uh, not pinky, the end of the thumb. So the thumb tip. And we can just pull back that thumb tip and record again. So now when I scrub you have an open hand and then a close hand, which is great. So we wanted our close hand. And then I'm gonna press F, uh, Shift F3 on the keyboard again. And I'm gonna go into my uh, keyframe manager where my, um, my, my new keyframes have been recorded. And I'm gonna click on uh, my rig right hand. That should have all the keyframes inside there. And now I want to animate the hand going back to its original position. So imagine the start was open, then it closes, and then so now I want to have it open again. So I can click on this value. This is a summary of all the recordings of that hand. So I can go uh, Control Shift, drag, and now it is um, that's duplicated the open hand. So now it's an open hand. Now it's a closed hand. And now it's an open hand. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, if you liked it, please like, share and subscribe and I will continue to answer your questions and create new content for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.